Welcome back everyone, Jim here. Well, time to uh, get, get a little bit of firewood cut. Now, out here camping where we do, obviously we don't burn firewood in the camper, but we do have a fire pit and you know, when we have company and stuff, I like to have plenty of firewood to be able to throw on the fire pit at night. So, this pile of wood here has been drying for over a year. Going to chunk it up some, split some, and uh, that'll probably make a good video, and, and then that'll be it. I'm not going to uh, stack it or do any of that stuff, but I will be using my uh, Timberwolf here, if any of you ever had a wood splitter. I bought this timber wolf several years ago. It was used. And uh, it's been sitting here for probably a year, year and a half. And I got to admit, I'm not going to start it for the first time here on camera. It'll be the second time. I actually started it yesterday. And after a year and a half, she started on the second pull. Pretty good. Anyway, it's a Honda engine. I think it's probably, I don't know, five horse or something like that. So it's not the most powerful wood splitter in the world, but certainly does everything I need. The wedge on the front is about a foot high. Uh, so it, it, you know, it has a wide capability of sizes of logs and what have you. But anyway, so I'm going to chunk some of this up. Then I'm going to be splitting some, and I'll get back to you in a while, maybe. Maybe talk some more and tell you what's going on. Now, some of the handling of these wood chunks. If any of you that know what that is, it's a pretty valuable tool. And it's a pulp hook. And other people might call it other things, I'm not sure, but... When you're handling wood like this, when it's chunked up and stuff, a lot of times a pulp hook is one of your best friends for grabbing it and chucking it and everything else you got to do to it. So uh, I'll be using that too, as well as my uh, chainsaw. I've had this for several years, Husqvarna. It's a 445. Not quite sure how sharp the blade is because I haven't used it yet this year. So she might not cut good and she might cut good. I don't know. I'll use what I got for now. Uh, funny story. Brand new saw. And we're up to Linda's property in Rangeley. Cutting wood and I'm in a hurry to refill it for the first time. Well... Added the oil, added the gas, and the thing wouldn't start. We was a day trying to figure out what the heck was wrong. Then I finally figured it out. Added the oil to where the gas goes. Added the gas to where the oil goes. As soon as I emptied it all out, saw started right up. They've worked fine ever since. Anyway, if anybody's likely to make that same error, just be careful which where you put the oil and where you put the gas. Okay, so we'll get going.
right, that's probably enough cotton for the video. Worked up a little sweat. Oh, heck. Uh, now I'll do a little sputting, like I said, with a timber wolf. All right, so it looks like I got a pretty good mess of wood here. We'll split this up. I always like to get, even if it's small stuff, you know, just split a little bit off it. This will work out good for the fireplace. Okay. So. Yeah, it's a Honda GX180. Excuse me, a GX160. And uh, it's a Honda. 5.5 horse. The piston is a Prince. 3000 PSI. Got a 4 inch bore. And a stroke of 24 inches. So, like I say, it's a timber wolf wood splitter. And I believe it's a TW-P1. If anybody wants to look it up. I don't know if they still sell them or not. But, like I say, it's an awesome splitter. So, let's get going.
can see that didn't take long. Split up that pile of wood. We'll hide on the back than anything else, but I gotta tell you what, a lot easier than using an axe. So, uh, anyway, like I said, it's a good little wood splitter. On the engine, I guess you can't beat them. Started up, like I said, after about a year and a half, started up on the second pull, and then this modern first pull. That's the last thing you want to do when you're starting a gas engine is have to sit there and reef on that thing for hours just to get it going. So anyway, hey, if you enjoyed watching me split up a little wood here, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, sawing it up, splitting it up. Not always doing the safest things that I possibly could, but I'm usually very careful. 50 years experience anyway. Um, so anyway, give me a like and a subscribe if you can. And I'll be back with more videos. Thank you very much.